Hello and welcome to the news from UTV. The police have been cleared of inflicting serious head injuries on a man who fell from a wall as an illegal rave was disrupted in Londonderry. The police ombudsman, Nulo Lone, found no evidence to back allegations that an officer may have pushed Paul Bradley as police dispersed 250 partygoers in April 2003. The 31-year-old suffered a fractured skull and life-threatening brain injuries. The Bradley family has criticised the findings of the report. Local Marks and Spencer shoppers will have to pay for plastic carrier bags from July. The company's chief executive, Stuart Rose, announced the trial scheme as the company revealed a 28% rise in annual profits. Shoppers at the 14 local M&S stores will have to pay five pence for a bag during the trial period. Other news, and the local priest who was wounded at his AIDS hospice in South Africa is now recovering at home. Father Kieran Cray was shot by robbers who broke into the complex near Johannesburg. At the weekend, he helped raise money to keep the hospice going. Paul Clark reports. Lucky to be alive and back on his feet, Father Kieran Cray receives a standing ovation from supporters. He's still recovering from the wounds he received when he was shot by intruders at Liratong, the hospice he set up in South Africa. Among the guests at this special fundraising dinner was Priscilla Jana, the South African ambassador to Ireland. But the man people had come to hear was Kieran Cray himself. It's a bit like snakes and ladders. Some days I feel up the ladder and sometimes I'm right down again. Uh, my stomach still gives me a bit of bother. My lung hasn't returned to normal yet, but I've been told that'll take some time and that I'm a bit of an impatient patient. So I just need to be a bit more patient and relax a bit more and stop, uh, as my mother said, farting around. <laughs> People are coming up to me in the street and handing me envelopes, handing me 20 pounds, so they can keep that going, that'll be great. Well, I suppose they wouldn't have known that if you hadn't had the publicity uh, which you had after you were shot. Yes, um, I used to be able to walk up and down the streets in Belfast, but now people... I was on the train, actually, to Dublin the other day, and a few people in the shouted, are you the wee priest that was shot? And I said, yes, I am. So they said, we'll send you a donation. So maybe it was worth it. <laughs> Glad something good came out of it. When Kieran Cray returns to South Africa in September, he'll bring back a cheque for over £60,000, the amount raised at this dinner, and money which will go a long way in providing palliative care at his hospice. People who have recovered from cancer are being quoted massive insurance costs for going on holiday. Some are also being refused cover, according to research by Macmillan Cancer Support. Vicky Hawthorne reports. Anna Earls and her mum Alison are getting ready for a holiday of a lifetime. Nine-year-old Anna was diagnosed with cancer in 2004, but after treatment was given the all-clear a year later. Her mum says this holiday is something Anna has always dreamt of. So we're heading off on holiday to Florida. Anna, one of her wishes was to swim with the dolphins, and um, thankfully my partner decided it would be a nice treat and he paid for us both to go with him. But problems arose when Alison tried to get insurance for the trip. The minimum quote for a long time that I got was £1,500. One of the quotes was 5000 and a lot of companies wouldn't touch her at all because she'd had a secondary tumour. I spoke to Anna's consultant who had said that she was doing very, very well and he would give me any letters he could or speak to the insurance companies to see. And eventually we managed to get a quote for £789, which still is very, very expensive and I would rather put the money into treating Anna. Macmillan Cancer says the Earl's experience is a regular occurrence. They say two in five cancer patients have been quoted high premiums and around 6% have been refused insurance altogether. But the Association of British Insurers says the cost of insurance cover needs to reflect the risk, which is assessed using the best available medical evidence. The association says it's keen to discuss the concerns with Macmillan. Vicky Hawthorne, UTV Live. The new body set up to review parades here will hold its first meeting today. The former leader of the Liberal Democrat Party, Paddy Ashdown, will chair the parade strategy group. The local members of the body include the senior Republican, Sean Murray, and the Loyalist Commission member, Mervyn Gibson, who's also the deputy grand chaplain of the Orange Order. Well, that's all from UTV for now. We'll have more on those stories on our lunchtime bulletin at 10 to 2. The UTB Weather is sponsored by Progressive's Premium Saver, the instant access account that sees your savings grow. Well, after
After a pleasant afternoon and a fine night, there'll be more cloud again by tomorrow. This afternoon, plenty of sunny spells across the province with temperatures getting up towards 16 Celsius in increasingly light winds. Tonight, most places will have a fine night, but western counties could see some mist and drizzle later. Tomorrow, cloudier and breezier than today, with some light drizzle possible from time to time. Still, it should be warm in any bright spells with highs near 17 degrees. The UTV Weather is sponsored by Progressive, your homegrown building society. If you would like more information about the weather for today and the week ahead, you can call us on 09001 50 55 50.